Years ago, a torn ACL was a career-ending injury for an elite athlete. With advances in technology, surgical procedures and rehabilitation, however, an elite athlete now has an excellent chance of returning to high-quality sports participation. To keep the joint stable, a set of four ligaments keeps the knee in a hinge-like position while you move. Two ligaments on either side of your knee joint, the medial and lateral collateral ligaments, connect to either side of your femur and tibia and limit shifting movement left or right. The other two ligaments, the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, connect from the base of your femur to the top of your tibia. They cross each other and prevent the knee from excessive forward and backward movement as well as twisting movement in either direction. If a movement is forceful enough, any of these ligaments may snap, including the ACL. Once torn, the ACL cannot regenerate or repair itself. The ACL reconstruction operation is now typically a one-hour outpatient procedure, performed successfully more than one way. We'll examine one of the more common methods used in ACL reconstruction. The entire surgery is completed through just a few tiny incisions. One is made for the insertion of a tiny camera and to deliver fluid to establish a clear view of your joint. One or two additional incisions are made on either side of your kneecap to give the surgeon access to your joint. One very small incision is made to anchor the new grafted ACL in place. To start the procedure, the surgeon will insert a probe to inspect the damaged joint. A small motorized shaver will then be used to remove the damaged ACL and prepare the area for the new one. In every case, a surgeon will also inspect the entire joint to determine whether there is additional damage warranting other repairs. Then, the surgeon will use a device called a retro flip cutter to create a tunnel through the femur and into the knee joint. The surgeon will also create a tunnel through the tibia and into the knee joint from below. These two tunnels become the source of the anchor points for the ACL graft. In most cases, the surgeon will harvest a portion of your own hamstring tendon to use as the graft. Using your own tissue reduces the likelihood of your ACL rupturing again and is a reason some surgeons decide not to use a tendon harvested from a cadaver. A surgeon will harvest more hamstring than needed to avoid the challenge of not harvesting enough. To the patient's benefit, hamstring tendons consistently regenerate over time as well. Your surgeon will prepare the harvested hamstring and pull it through the upper hole and into the lower hole just taut enough to mimic your original ACL. A small grappling hook will anchor the upper end of the graft and a screw will stabilize the lower end. The screw is usually bioabsorbable, meaning your body will incorporate it into the bone over time. The graft from your hamstring tendon will act as a scaffold upon which a new ACL will grow. Over time, the hamstring graft undergoes changes and is strengthened, leaving a strong, viable ACL.